Hello, and thank you for watching The Righteous Kitchen, a cooking and baking blog found at www.therighteouskitchen.blogspot.com. I just finished making a batch of pico de gallo, and I have it here marinating. And I am going to take the opportunity, since I already have that made, to use it for a shortcut uh, guacamole. And that's gonna save me all that chopping of ingredients. Now I have my avocados here, and I wanna show you, just slice them in half, and then don't hold it in your hand and try to get the seed out. Put it on the counter and you're gonna have a better control and then remove the seed into a container. So I hardly got the seed on that, but still. And then safely get that avocado out. Now I'm gonna go in here and score these avocados, nothing drastic, a couple of cross hatches is all. These are some pretty nice looking avocados. Okay. I'm just gonna use a large spoon and go in here and scoop this out. Now I am using a mocajete to stir everything together. I'm not really gonna mash it. I'm just gonna stir the ingredients in. And I probably have way too many avocados for this, so I'll just do it in a couple of batches. All right, so I have this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put in a couple of spoons of the pico de gallo. And I'm just gonna scrape that avocado I don't want it all mashed up. I want texture to it. So just get in here and fold it. And then you'll mash it as much as you want it. But the smokehete is has a, a rough interior. any seasoning I'm gonna sprinkle on a little bit of righteous seasoning in there and a little bit more lime going to need a lot. I'll give it another quick taste. Oh, that's it right there. 
That's delicious. So I'm just gonna scoop this into a larger bowl. And I'm gonna make one more batch of this. And I think I'll be good. Look at that. Fresh guacamole. I know I'm not saying that right, guacamole. But um I don't speak Spanish, so you'll have to forgive me. All right, get in here, kind of mash it up a little bit. Then you can Still want chunks. All right, I'll put another one in. spoon this time and put that a little righteous seasoning and some more lime I'm going to just put this in with the other and I think that's going to be plenty of guacamole. All right, I'll come back with the picture for you. Okay, I have wiped down my mess and put everything away. Um, this is how I like to serve the guacamole in the mocha jeta. Uh, I just think it gives it a nice festive fun presentation but since I'm not going to be serving it until this evening I'm going to go ahead and put it in an airtight container and that's what you're going to need to do to make sure that it uh, doesn't turn brown on you so I'm going to scoop it in here and press down on the bottom to get all of the um, air out of there. You just don't want any air getting to it. That will uh, make everything oxidize on you. So I'm just scooping it in, scooping it in here, and then hold on. I'm going to need to grab the plastic wrap as well. Even though it's in a Tupperware airtight container, I'm still going to. Uh, need to put the plastic wrap over it. So let me grab that and I will come right back. Okay, I have everything in my Tupperware container and I am going to put plastic wrap. Let me just do this so to fit in there. 
everything completely covered with the plastic wrap and that's going to prevent air from getting to it and turning the guacamole brown. So that is all ready for dinner. And I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share.